Alright, I gotta tie a I gotta tie a loop into this. I'm gonna use this three quarter inch pex. I'm gonna go over in this joist bay through the ceiling through the closet which in turn is gonna come through and feed this heater, this unit heater. So um, I gotta get up above that shelf and uh, tie this thing in. Um, that's the temperature right now outside and in but um sorry for the shaky cam wow but it's 53 in here ambient which is not bad so um after i did all the insulation and i put all spray foaming on all the joints and i finished the garage taping everything up and getting everything nice and tight it uh it seemed to uh tighten up in here a bit so i mean we still have weather stripping uh I gotta get new weather stripping for the door bottoms and outside the seal. But other than that, it's uh, really tightened up. So we're gonna stop piping this thing today and uh, see how it goes. So it should work fine. I was gonna, I'm gonna use a zone valve, use it as a zone. But for now, I'm just gonna use ball valves as the zone valve. I'll just let it run wild with the system. And uh, there's my vent, there's my drain, there's my inlet. Actually, that's my inlet, that's my outlet. So, we're gonna try to get this thing up in here. Yes, I have a ton of car parts. Um, so this is gonna be quite the challenge to get in. I gotta take all this stuff down. A little bit of work to do before I get going, so. Yeah, all right, back in a bit. This fell a big block. Found them, rollers. This was not easy. It was not easy to snake this pex through that truss work into the old part of the house from the addition. But I got it. Beagle, a Justin, and a Bassett home. Ah, oh, sassy. Ah, oh, sassy. Can you say Merry Christmas? Can you say Merry Christmas? She's a good girl. Just going after Justin. Alright, so I'm through all this, and now I'm into the boiler room. Don't mind the mess. So I gotta tie a loop into that, and I'm just gonna valve it off and tie it into the unit and just let it run wild until I can put a zone valve in but I'm going to tease that wire we're going to be cutting into those supply and returns and uh, bring it back when I get the thing pumping heat alright alright guys I'm going to solder on some copper gunners one's going to go straight up the other one's just going to come out a bit I'm going to put a 90 on it and look up and tie it until the pex drops that are coming through the ceiling. Um, I like to do this, saves time. Pre solder my uh, male adapters on. Flux is awfully dirty. Using Silver Bright solder, you can use 50 50 on heating systems, but you can't use it on potable.
Picking it up. One, two, and then I can cut whatever I want off of this, and that's it. All right, so uh, I gotta cut a 20 inch off of that, and then I think a four. All right, back in a bit. All right, guys, it's already cooled down a little bit, still warm. This bug is still hot. I'm just gonna pre-wrap it though. I'm gonna wrap all this stuff up over here. Let's see if we can get a good view. Probably not. Because this camera's stupid. Hello! Yeah, how's that? Oh. A lot of editing on this on this guy. <laughs> All right. Okay, I gotta put this stuff together, get on a ladder, take it all down, break it all apart. I wonder if these laws in full swing. I'm gonna prefab these 90s, tape them up down here. Am I in the camera's way? I'm sorry. It's the only problem with this I don't like is I got it hanging from you struck rods. So this is the cast fitting. That's you, Bill. Okay, solder final connection and then hook up the PEX lines. Um, then we're gonna go into the boiler room. It is 20 of five. I think I started this kind of early, but it's been hit and run all day, um, in and out, so. Oh, sorry for the super close up, guys. All right, let's do some soldering.
right, let that heal up, and then we'll attach the PEX lines to it, which is, we're gonna zoom back and in, and we're gonna readjust this camera, try to at least, whoa! Okay. Sorry guys, I just, this, this has been pretty much my day. We have some X rings, X adapters, which are those brass pieces that I just soldered on. Essentially, this is what they look like. Let me pick that up. See the little barb on it? Okay. Now, you take this weapon, you screw it on. You getting that? You slide this ring over that plastic pipe and then you take this and you bring the handles in and you see the needle come up and it expand then you turn and you keep doing it and you keep you keep riding this collar all the way down till it bottoms out here when it bottoms out here that means I can slide this collar with the pipe over that barbed fitting which is right here. See, it fits nice, but there's that piece of pipe there that this actually fits over. And then this has a memory and it goes back into its original state and it bites onto that barbed fitting and you'll never get a leak. I never had a leak yet on this style of Wurzbow Peck, so. Front spring style, I've had leaks. The uh, Copper Collar, the Vega, Foster Pecks, I've had leaks, but not, never had a leak on this, so. And I've been doing it for quite some time, so. We'll let that cool down, and then uh, I'll set the camera up up there, and we can watch it as I as I put it on. All right, back in a bit. Come on, puppy. All right, um, I'm hooked up. I got it running wild off the main circ. I mean, off the main loop, and the coil's already getting warm. This piping is already getting warm. All right, let's throw the fan on and see if we get any heat. Um, this aquastat is the wrong one. I want one that closes. Ooh, nice. That's gonna cool the boiler right now. I can feel it though. So, we have in the garage. Focus. No focus. Come on, it's 51 degrees inside. It's 38 outside. I just lit this thing off. And let's see what we're getting here. Let's back up, sorry for the shaky cam. Let's see what we're getting here for. Temperature coming out. climbing so if I can maintain 50 degrees in this garage I'm a happy man all right so we're pumping out like 62 I mean the boiler just fired off too so it's gonna take a little while for it to really start chugging but naturally this van is actually cooling down the coil Who's that? Who's that over there? Who's that over there? What kind of dog is that? Come on, sassy girl. Sass. So, I got heat. I'm happy. Who's that? Say hi. Hi, good girl. Hi, sassy. Say hi. She wants a belly rub. She wants a belly rub. <laughs> You always see what you get. She gets into everything though, but she's just a puppy. You're just a puppy. Right, Sass? Huh? I rub that belly. It's a big pause. Look at these paws. Look at the size of my hand and her paws. <laughs> good girl. You a good girl? Huh? Sass, you a good girl? 
That's what she does. She gets into everything. No, you don't like that. You don't like that sass. What do you like? What's in there? Hmm. Steel pipe? No. So, I'm gonna keep an eye on the, uh, what she got. What do you got? She's trying to get that rubber pad. Now she's trying to pull the wheel chalk out. <laughs> All right, girl. You wanna go upstairs? Huh? Where's Molly? Sassy, where's Molly? Where is she? Go see Molly. Uh, she's hanging with me now. All right, so what do we got here? I could really feel the heat. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Okay. I can live with that. The only thing I gotta do is this aquastat. This thing, what happens is, it shuts off that uh, 120, it'll kill a fan when it gets up to 120 degrees. Um, what I want it to do is I want this coil to really heat up, and when the water reaches a certain temperature, then that thing to kick the fan on. Um, I'm just gonna cycle it, see what happens. And then I gotta throw a zone valve on it, and I think we're done. Hey, just want to demonstrate. I got a piece of copper, right? Three quarter inch copper, three quarter inch PEX. Okay. This is without a barbed fitting. This is just expanding this PEX without even without the ring. It's amazing. We can see if we can get this to go up a bit. Okay. Kind of tough doing this on a tabletop. As you can see, the nose, the cone going into the pipe, into the pecs. It's flaring it. <clears throat> Gotta put a little bit of grunting. Bottomed out. I'm gonna grab this copper now. We're gonna insert it. I'm just gonna leave it alone now. There's no barb, it's just smooth, clean piece of copper. You can see the taper here, it's starting to, starting to squeeze on itself. It has a memory, it wants to go right back to where it was before. This stuff's amazing, man. I love it. And you can hear the fan in the back. We just jumped up two degrees. Sassy's whining, she wants to go play with Molly. Sass, come on, girl. All right, it's a couple of minutes. That's 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 in there pretty good. I mean, I can I can pull up. Well, babe, what's the matter, baby girls? All right, let's go see Molly. So that's that. This stuff's pretty good, man. When it, there's a little barb on here, this pipe would cut right into it. You'll never pull it apart. But in long run, I wait. See, good stuff. All right, guys, a little demonstration of the pecs. Take it easy. Getting warm in the garage. I love it.